Well, hello there, and welcome to issue number 118. And this issue is all about the Scorpio dog, as you can see on the caption prior to the video. Those are the dates you have to be in to be in this Western and Eastern astrological combination. Um, any questions, comments, more than welcome, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Okay, let's start straight away. We've got the, the powerful, emotional um, scorpion uh, mixed in with the protective, uh, justice oriented dog, but um, a little bit on the pessimistic side. They are always prepared. So what do we really find? Well, what we find um, as a uh, combination when they start school or in their very fledgling years, you will see somebody that is ultra, ultra protective of their family. So if they have older siblings, they will, the slightest thing they hear said about them, they're ultra defensive there and very protective of the younger breed in the household as well. So anyone younger than them, you've really got a fantastic big brother, big sister scenario. Um, and the older siblings have got someone that looks up to them so much, you know, um, they love family. They love the whole thing about it, but they're very, very protective and nobody can ever do any wrong. They will just all for position inside the house, don't get me wrong. They can test their parents there and they could test their, um, their brothers and their sisters. But um, that protective streak um, is very, very uh, prominent. And as I say, going through the school years, um, this is really where they lay. They lay in that sort of a shut down siege mentality a little, um, capable of some excellent schoolwork. Um, but there can be mood swings here, very great mood thing, swings, and they're very effective with what is going on in the household. So if they've walked out in the morning, there's a problem going on, or they've got a poorly parent or poorly, let's say, sibling, um, that can really affect their day quite badly. And and you know the teachers, etc., will learn learn um, in time that um, if they're not on song, then just leave them be. They've got something on their mind that is obviously at home um, because that's the only thing that really, really does affect them. So, you know, the best to give them a wide birth there um, because they can get very, uh, you know, as I say, protective. And then they get very moody, prone to big um, sort of aggressive mood swings. So uh, just let them be on that scale. So they're going through their school years, and as I say, it's, it's very important that they have that um, that solidness at home um, because that is their sort of their haven, if you like. Um, yes, they mix fine. They have friends. Um, they prefer probably one or two close friends rather than a mass group. But ultimately, they need that base um, at home to be real solid for them and um, for their brothers and sisters to be okay and then doing well. They've got older ones that are going on doing work, uh, you know, getting into their own relationships. They like to see that they're doing well and then they love their nieces and nephews when they come along. They'd be very, very important to them. Um, so what you're gonna find with this, uh, this character going through to college, going through to university, um, as I say, as long as they've controlled their mood swings from time to time, which do besiege them, do make them quite dark, um, can make them then very difficult. Um, if they can combat that, and I'm sure they can because the strength and the dedication of the Scorpio, the inner control, does shine through here and it, it keeps the nervous dog at bay for the majority of the time. Um, but sometimes the dog wins out the battle occasionally in the inner self and then they can be a little bit unpredictable in that sense of, you know, when they could choose to be a bit aggressive or not. So as we're going through, uh, they will want to get into their jobs early. Uh, they will look to um, start the family home. They don't might, they're not ones to want to flee straight away. Um, they will like to bring some money into their parents and repay, um, you know, repay with real generosity. They're such a very generous combination as well. So they're gladly, if they have a sick parent as they've gotten older, they're gladly forsake um, a relationship even for the sake of looking after that parent or um, 
a grandmother, grandfather, and they're glad to go out to work and they will be very generous and a great provider for the family. So let's hope in that all the family things intact, everything's in, in order, um, then they can then look for a relationship because, you know, the Scorpio dog, um, they do respond in relationships. You do get that caring nature if they can transfer it onto uh, somebody else, have a, have something else to take their mind away from, uh, you know, they get bogged down a little with the family. If they can have somebody else they can put their affections on, then it's very healthy for them. But what you have to remember is the Scorpio dog needs to protect. So if you get a little bit claustrophobic or a little bit, um, you know, just need a little bit of space from time to time, Scorpio dog's not really for you because they take the slightest, um, the slightest knockback, not even a knockback, it could be a little thing when, no, I don't feel like seeing you tonight or something like that and it, it hurts them deeply, they then think that they have this imminent um, fear of doom, impending doom, that the life gets over, you will have to talk them around many times, that's the way it goes with Scorpio dog and to reassure them. Um, if you want intensity and a caring nature way beyond what you would have experienced then this is the one for you because you will be a major major priority in their life they will go to gladly go out to work for you cook uh, the male or female but you know they've got a great way of caring and if you're the object of their desires you're not going to really miss out if you get a bit caustic then there can be problems because I say they get hurt very easily by the slightest thing they see as disinterest from you um, they get hurt very easily then the moods then the impending doom so we really have to be a balance here talk to them often and say look I do like my own space a little there's nothing against you but this is what I like to do try and get them understanding appeal to the Scorpio side there and say okay you know, because I've worked, I've got a jealous combination on the whole with the dog in there, and they think, oh, that's it, it's going wrong, and then you're going to face maybe a lot of quizzing or a lot of moods, so let's avoid that. So let's find the right combination for a start off, because once you get their love, you know, and you protect, and you allow to be protected, you let them, you know, let them smother you, let them protect you, you will never ever be unhappy as I say and it will be a fantastically loyal, loyal relationship. So who do we want to look for for the Scorpio dog? Well really and genuinely we've got to look at tigers because tigers, okay they're independent but they love the feeling of the dog forever at their side. They love somebody, you know, who they know is backing them up. Um, and there's, you know, that, that lovely warmth and comfort and feeling that the tiger feels from this. And they love being protected in that sense because, yes, we know the tiger is massively independent, very capable of looking after themselves. But it's nice for them because sometimes they're running about after people. It's really nice for them to say, I know this person has always, always uh, got my back. And it's very great loyalty, very good for the justice thing. So um, there'd be great fairness, there'd be great conversations, um, and there'd be some great, um, you know, human rights things being fought for. So they will all have a good kindred spirit in the tiger and the dog. So we have to look for the Capricorn tiger, the Pisces tiger, the Cancerian tiger, and the Virgo tiger. Wonderful matches there. We also, also have to keep into the rhythm of, uh, you know, allowing somebody to smother them a little. And we've got the horse. The horse is another wonderful um, companion, but in a slightly different ses sense, because the horse has little bits of unpredictability, very generous natured, uh, very generous of spirit as well. They have a very noble uh, understanding of when they're in love. They really put that up there as a high priority too. So there's devotion here. But there's also a bit of unpredictability which I like the Scorpio dog to taste in the sense of um, it's not all mapped out for them and the horse will bring that to them and they will bring a bit of 
um, wealthiness into the environment whereas the Scorpio dog can be a little enclosed as long as they've got the object of their affection they don't worry but the horse can open it up a bit and really make the Scorpio dog blossom plus make um, work ideals come true you know where is that bit of confidence the dog may need the horse is there and they will fill you up with that so let's be looking for the Capricorn horse the Pisces horse the Cancerian horse and the Virgo horse all excellent matches for the Scorpio dog the ones to avoid as always have got to be the dragons because the dragon is bold um, never never ever sits on the fence is completely boom 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 and the dog gets very unsettled plus the dragon can take off they can take off and it will give the dog too much to worry about too much to feel anxious over I feel as though this is going to end at any minute and there's that impending doom which as I say keep the Scorpio dog away for, from and you know the dragon really won't enjoy that plasticness to be honest um, it then gets them a bit tetchy and then they might start to do things to annoy the dog you get two frightened characters there it's not good for either but if we look on the health side of it it's got to be to control the mood swings and make sure it doesn't develop into heavy anxieties um, anxiety medication um, panic attack at, um, medication although the Scorpio is very strong and they know how to medicate themselves in the sense of okay let's balance this emotion occasionally it gets out of control so you can see bursts of anger and emotion um, that can really whack them leave them sort of really washed out and that can be on a real anxious level not very good so be careful you're not down that road um, because reliance on um, mood balances shall we say or enhancers even um, are needed so let's let's just be wary um, but then again if you have to have them for a while it's not the end of the world and you know they're there to help okay thank you for joining for this issue and please join me for the next one thank you